Okay, it's a very similar team. Uh, it's not really a similar team. It's just got the same Zard. So Zard, Sableye. Seems to be quite a common pairing, that, though, now. We've got Arcanine, Terrakian, um, Gastron, and Wimmy. So some beat-up stuff, for sure. Uh, all stuff that, like, we have to lead in DD just to kind of get around that. Um, I think we got Zam again, you know? Zam did so much. Although we could just go straight for our Trick Room mode with Hat and just get our Trick Room set up. Um, they've got to have a way around that, though. And then keep Zam for, like, the late game, maybe. And Toko. Yeah, we'll go for that. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Let's play spot the beat up user. I know, right? <laughs> is it going to be into Arcanine? Is it going to be into Terrakion? Is how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well. Thanks for joining the stream tonight. I hope you have a great evening watching some hopefully good Pokemon battles. I'm doing good, man. Uh, current standing, I think we're like 1300 at the minute. So we're getting there. We're creeping up. We'll be in the. Uh, the top of thousand. Hopefully after this one. That'll be good. And then we can really start making a push. Okay, so we've got Wimmy and Zard coming out. I mean it's a pretty easy just follow me trick room here. And one thing they could potentially do is just is throw up the sun and heat wave. Um I don't mind if they do that, to be honest. I mean we get a trick we get our uh, trick room up there and it's pretty difficult for this sort of team to kind of manage trick room when their main offense is super fast i guess oh it's blatantly trick room wimmy isn't it <laughs> we're gonna get bit it's gonna happen johnny lee should get the alga timeout emote and a gastrodon melting salt emote you'll thank me later Dude, I'm stealing those ideas 100%. <laughs> I love the Dialga timeout emote. That sounds amazing. We should so... Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Oh, no. Misty terrain. Wow. Wow. Get that priority terrain up. Stop that confusion, boy. Uh, wildfire? I would imagine, yeah. yeah but I mean, we get a trick. So that's the main thing. DD sticks around. Misty terrain, Wimmy. Hmm. Problem is, if we max here, we can still confuse the Charizard, which um, does backfire a little bit on it. Uh, but the wildfire is not ideal. Um, hmm. I think we just follow me, Sack DD. And I think we try and get... Do we go for the... No, I think we go... G-Max Smite. Try and get the Confusion. And then the next turn we can go for Mindstorm. Uh, and get Torkoal onto the field. Because DD will go down here. Okay, well that, that works out perfectly for us. Yeah, it removes the Expanded Force, of course. I could have a mind storm first expand, of course. I could have. I don't think it would be enough to get the Zard, though. And right now, I, I feel like we just want to kind of keep Hat as healthy as possible if we can. So, this isn't going to help the save life. Yeah. I think the confusion onto Zard is going to be. A bit more useful especially if it can't move like if zard can't attack this turn that's i mean it doesn't really make too much difference but it is kind of nice to stop it just moving especially next turn maybe come on zard hit yourself be confused be confused max quake wow okay like all the fun with zard special defense boost is definitely helping it out Okay. Mm. 
we need to make sure that we get the Zard. This is a thing. Um, okay, let's bring in. Let's bring in Torquil. This could be a little bit of a problem for our. Um, but I'm. I'm gonna. Thanks so much, Johnny, for the uh, the sub. Did the um. Did the stuff pop up on screen? The alert pop up. Yeah, it did. Okay. Thanks so much, Johnny. Right, we'll go for the eruption because, and we'll go for Mindstorm into. I mean, we could just protect Hat here. Nah, nah, we'll just attack. Okay, Wimmy is. Because there's every chance that the Zard might hit itself with confusion, yeah. This is the kind of the turn where we need it to hit itself with confusion now. Yeah. Because then Small Zard next turn goes down to Eruption. There's not too much Wimmy can do. There's the energy ball. No, it goes max break, okay. Wow. Hmm. And we've got plenty of turns of trick room left. And we got Zam to come in. How many turns of trick room we've got left? Two turns. Okay. Depending on where we want this psychic terrain would be ideal for us right now, but I wonder if Wimmy sets up uh Expand and force into Willy, and no, we can expand and force, can't we? Because that's yeah, we've got the psychic terrain back up now. I wonder if Wimmy goes for the misty terrain again. I don't know. Trick room Malakazam, it's got in prison there, Will. <laughs> it's got in prison it's to stop the trick room if we don't want the trick room. But it is a secondary trick room user as well if we ever need it. It's dual, it's a dual. It's a dual wielding Alakazam. It's... Yeah, I don't really agree with the Misty Terrain there. I mean, it's kind of counterproductive because you know if I got Mindstorm, it goes after your priority Misty Terrain, so. And now, I think we're all right. We got one turn of Trick Room left. And we got Zam, and we got Hat. The only issue is now, um, the wildfire does break the sash on Zam. Oh no, it doesn't, of course, because we've got Magic Guard. I forget. I forget Magic Guard protects us from that sort of stuff. This is why the sash is even better. Okay, this is ideal. Ideal. And Terrakian coming in. Yeah, Terrakian. Where's your beat up partner now, eh? Where's your beat up partner now, Terrakian? <laughs> I like Terrakian. I'm just. I'm just... Yeah, no, I don't like it right now. We're playing Battle Dome. Uh, Alexano, um, we're playing, uh, yeah, so Victory Station. We're playing ranked battles right now. Yeah. Oh, do you mean the stadium we're in? Okay, so good game to my opponent. Um, doing all right. It's doing all right, the team. I'm playing the team of Garados, uh, Riolo, uh, Incineroar, Rillaboom. Uh, Primarina and the Dusclops. So, Riolo, coaching, coaching is not going to be fun to play around with. But, um, hmm, is this where we bring PZ and just go to town on everything? Maybe, maybe, maybe this is the one where we bring PZ. 
Um, okay, we'll go PZ and DD. And then, what are we wanting in the back? I think like Torko or Venusaur isn't too bad. Just in case they get the Trick Room with Dusclops. Um, it's either that or Hat. Like the Venusaur is kind of nice though. Just against Prim and Rillaboom, and it it can hit Incineroar for decent damage. Uh, yeah, let's go with Venusaur. Let's do that. What's this? What's Johnny? Johnny, I'm proud of myself. Uh, a package of gummy bear lasted me the entire two days instead of half a day. <laughs> Good job, Johnny. What kind of gummy bears, though? Are they like the Harry Ball gold bears? Okay. Riolo. I love shiny Lucario Riolo. It's so nice. Like the gold shinies as well. The blue and the gold shiny Pokemon are like the best. Right. I think we have to follow me here, to be honest. And just got max light. Did we just max lightning? Set the terrain up now. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's see what happens. to get around this but I could be pleasantly surprised I'm sure Gyarados is faster than us though ah oh, I didn't realize Nigel that coaching isn't redirected by follow me I didn't realize that actually so <laughs> well I've learned something new today I've not played a coaching team so yeah at least we can redirect the Gyarados right There's the, the, the coach in. There's that attack and defense boost. But at the same time, right? There is no way. Okay, well, it doesn't even take us down. There's no way that you your Gyarados takes Max Lightning from Life or PZ. There's no chance. No way. We learned something new there, all right? I um, I appreciate the uh, the afterthought, guys. The boom, boom, boom coming in. Um, I mean, they can just go coaching again, but at the same time, uh, I mean, they can grassy glide, they can fake out as well, but we can just go max strike into Rillaboom and. I imagine that will do enough. Yeah, okay. So that's the power of PZ. We've got one wing up next. Charizard, Grimmsnarl, Gastrodon, uh, Melotic, Rillaboom, and Magnazon. So a nice, interesting team. I still think like our Trick Room mode, if we can get it off, does a lot of work. Um... <sighs> Probably screens, Grim Snarl. Um, I mean, really, our board position that we're going to want is Torkoal Hat in Trick Room, and there's not really too much they can do to, to handle that. It's just what we want in the back, really. I mean, we could bring Venusaur. Venusaur is pretty good here to be honest. If we can get rid of the Charizard, Venusaur is like a really nice option to have in late game, especially if the sun's up. Yeah, we'll go Venusaur. Let's go for that. Let's try the Venusaur. No, that's true Ace, yeah. That's probably the only good ability on Starmie. It's 
such a shame. I love Starmie as a Pokemon as well. It'd be nice to see it, actually. It, it might see a bit more use this format. It's definitely something I will try out. Um, I've loved Starmie since, like, Gen 1, but it's it's really struggled, and I think it hasn't really... It's never really done that well in, in VG. It's had some good play in s some singles, some years in singles, I guess. Like, in the early days, when there wasn't as many options, Starmie was, wasn't a bad pick in, um, in singles, so... But VG, I've never really, really seen it do that well. But I still think it's got a lot of potential. And will I hate Starmie in Gen 1? <laughs> Starmie in Gen 1 was great. The bolt beam combo was bust. Uh, right, we've got Grimstar, we've got Charizard. Um, yeah, well, it's a pretty free trick room for us here. Whether or not we want to go attack or follow me. We'll just follow me just to be safe. I'm going to bottle it. Bottle it. Yeah, Power Herb on the Meteor Beam. It's, yeah, it's a nice option. I wonder if, like, weakness policy uh, Starmie could work. Because, <coughs> like, Max, <coughs> based off, like, the Meteor Beam, isn't a bad option. And you could maybe think about playing something like Excadrill, Sandrush Excadrill in there with it. And then it kind of covers any electric weakness, although you don't really have too much concern about electric Pokemons in this format. As much as, like, other formats. You know, but it's always an option. Double expanding force, I think, maybe. Mm. No, I'm gonna go smite into the Grim Snarl, because then again we're gonna get the um the potential confusion hit. And if we can get the Grim Snarl here, then the follow me just to protect the hat is gonna be a little more useful, I think. Well if I run Misty theme team in Players Cup, I can run Togekiss or do I have to keep it as a Togepi? Definitely keeping it as a Togepi. Nah, you could get away with Togekiss, 100%. Misty 3 theme team in Players Cup. It means you have to cosplay though as well if you do that, right? They are the rules. Here's okay, so Zard actually going for the Protect here, which is fine. Grimstar Probe probably going to pick up the knockout on Ndidi, but if it if it comes through this this turn, of course, I don't know if it will, just about, but will it survive the confusion? If it hits itself, it's down, um, but it's likely not going to hit itself, is it? Nah, that's fine. <laughs> get this is this is fine and we can just eruption mindstorm and exano are you team uk for the european cup yes i am my friend yeah so um I don't know who we've got this week actually coming up. I haven't actually checked, but yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Axano, are you play are you playing in the in the European Cup? It's a cool tournament. I'm like super grateful for like victory of setting it up. Come on, Charlie. We've had no hits. We've had no confusion hits tonight. Or have we? We've had like maybe one, so we can't really complain too much. Okay, there's the airstream. So a big, big prerogative is to get rid of this Zard before um, before the trick room runs out.
boom boom coming in. All right. Oh, this is this is this is mm, not amazing. I will say, not ideal. Because then we have to protect Talk Hall. I think we got two turns of trick here. Now. Um. Hmm. Where do we want to chase? Do we want to chase down the Zard? I think we want to chase down the Zard, to be honest. We got two turns of trick room left. Um. Yeah, let's let's mind storm the Zard, and I'm gonna protect all color. I really don't want to lose it here just to a, a fake out, which would just be. Pretty pointless. Um, yeah, they're gonna withdraw. It's an obvious play. They might just wood hammer into. Um... Now nah, they've got it. They've got to fake out into Torkoal here. They've got to. Or grassy glide. Got one turn of trick room left. And that's the last turn of our G Max. Is a grassy glide gonna get? Oh, it's not even it's not Huh? Wait there. I'm I'm super confused. They're not grassy terrain. Oh no they are. We've just overwritten it, of course. <laughs> Stop being so dumbly. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Um, yeah, we just expand in force and burning jealousy, and that that'll be enough. Do you die to grassy glide after protection now? <laughs> I'm dumb, Will. I'm dumb. Magnus on protecting makes a lot of sense. We'll probably get the the Zard here. Think. I think with the Zard gone, Venusaur can come in and it should be able to deal with Magnuson and the Rillaboom. Depends how many turns of Sun we've got left. But if we've only got one, it might be worth now switching Torkoal out to Venusaur. No, we got two. Okay, I think probably we're probably all right. Um, I'm just gonna go after the available here. I wonder if we take a flash cannon from. Okay, we see the fake out, and they're just gonna t-ball. Yeah. Okay. This is fine. Now we get Venusaur in, and I don't know if Rillaboom's really got anything to deal with with Venusaur, to be honest. Yeah, Nappy, the big brain players. They're all by accident. Okay. I mean, Rillaboom can go for the knockoff into Venusaur, for sure. Um, and protect Magnuson. But then, hmm. I think we just expanding force Rillaboom and we just got the Earth Pie into Magnazon. I think Magnazon could protect here. Oh, we just see a grassy glide. Okay. It's super fine, because we'll get the Yeah, we'll get the Magnazon. And then The Sun running out's not great, because then the knockoff probably will do a decent amount to Venusaur. I don't know if it's going to two-hit Chaos. And that Sludge Bomb should get the Rillaboom in two hits. Oh, we actually have speed Rillaboom anyway, so this is this is super fine. Get the poison. We get the poison. There, well, that's all we need. Okay, let's see how much this does. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> 
That's fine. Hmm. Yeah, sludge bomb and the, the light screen's gone now, so that, that's it. That is it. That is it. Okay, GG's you're my opponent. So that's, that's a nice win after that last one. Okay. Yeah, I think, I, oh, this is brutal. Uh, I think we go Zam in DD. I think we go Hat and then we throw Torkoal in the back. And I think we lock in, don't even think about it and just get into this one now. My AirPods, my AirPods have run out of battery. You know, I got a Bluetooth like um, extender for my PC so I could use these because they survived the washing machine, which was pretty insane. Um, but I got a Bluetooth adapter for them uh, so I could like just use them on my PC because like my desktop's like way further away than I, I want it to be. So my headphones, I'm all stretching like this side. So just to make it easier. But the sound quality through them because it, it, the sound quality through OBS, this is really boring, I, I guess, um, is really bad. It's like listening to, uh, I don't even know. It's like listening through a toaster, pretty much. The sound quality is really bad, but they died now, so anyway. And Cameron, no Bristol City. No, mate. I grew up in the Northeast. Newcastle's always been my team. Um, and like you would understand, when I was like really, really young, um, Newcastle were an insanely good team. Newcastle were an insanely good team. Um, like really, really good. Obviously with like Alan Shearer, Les Ferdinand, Kevin Keegan. We nearly won the league that year, but then threw it away. It was just an exciting time to grow up uh, watching like my my local team. So yeah, I like Bristol, but they're not they're not very good. They're not very good. I mean, they're all right. They're all right. They're like championship, right? Yeah, boom's coming out. We're gonna see Lapras, and we will get an expanding force into Lapras, which is nice. Urshifu going for the detect. Is this water Urshifu? I think it might be. This is even better for us right now. How much damage is this going to do to this Lapras? I'm going to see the Rillaboom come in this next turn for sure. It comes in to support the Lapras. But that saying that, um, hmm, we could Max Mindstorm the Lapras and then go Expanding Force into the Lapras because I think the Rillaboom comes in for the Urshifu right now. I've got a feeling that that's what happens. And you may max Lapras. Oh, okay. We're gonna see the Brillaboom come out. Unless that's Dark Urshifu, which I don't think it is. It might be, it might be. It's Dark Urshifu, we're screwed. DB Packer, thank you so much for the follow, for joining us tonight. I hope you're well, having a great day. In. Hope you enjoy the stream with us as well, man. We're screwed. Why have we maxed that? I mean, we haven't maxed Zam all night, so I mean, it does. It put in some work. We're gonna give it a. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna let it do some stuff. <laughs> it's dark Urshifu. It's the worst. It's the worst possible situation. To do. Are we sure it's dark? Is it just a stance? Is it the stance that we? Uh, the other one's more like that, right? In this one. This one's this way. I don't know. Is, is that a south pole? Yeah, that's south pole. And the other one's just regular. Wicked blood, the dark one. Yeah, it's into indeed. Right, well. It's not great, but it's not. It's not the end of the world, I guess. Could be worse, right? <laughs> could it be worse? I don't think it could be. Um, we need to get hat set up. We need the trick room. Are they going to think we've got Dazzling Gleam, do you think? Um, maybe. 
There's no way we take a wicked blow, I don't think. I don't think we take a wicked blow from um Ershuffy. I really don't think. I really need them to go after Zam here and really make a mistake. Give him the spoons. We need the stash, Will. Especially here, if they go... I'm hoping they go after the Zam. Like, is it not tempting to wicked blow the Zam? If you're I think you... I think you do worry about Dazzling Gleam. Like, the, the max... Max Starfall here. Potentially. Zam is not the one to, uh, to max it, but in front of Urshifu. To be honest, if I actually... Why do that, dude? Psychic trains up. If it'd been a bit like if I if I knew my Urshifu forms a little bit better, which I thought, thought I did. Yes, that's perfect. Thank you. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. I know, right? <laughs> Bundy, I'm just getting I'm, I'm all over the place. I definitely thought it was the water one, but. At least now I know I'll never get it wrong ever again. You guys can hold me, hold me up to that. Right. Well, here comes Venusaur. Um, we have to dazzling gleam. We have to dazzling gleam, and we have to mindstorm Venusaur. Dazzle's gonna get. Dazzle gets Urshifu, right? Dazzle gets Urshifu. Charlie, thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight. Okay, Urshifu protecting. Dazzling Gleam. We'll chip a Sash. But are you gonna go... I mean, we, then we get... If you take down Zam here... Don't sleep harder. Okay. We're getting, like, all the jet, get out of jail free cards, I feel. This is kind of working out. <laughs> nice was like, again... <laughs> Okay, well, now, now it's all right, I think. I think it's all right. I just want Zam to go down now so we can get Torkoal in. Urshifu has to go down to a, um, a Dazzle, right? I don't even know if anyone answered me. Will, come on. Ah, oh, he cancels the battle. We can't end like that. Right, friends, here is the team. So uh, I will check it. And there you go. There's a rental code. So give this team a go. Uh, the one thing I would say is uh, I haven't really played the PZ when I'm and going into matches very much. The one game that we did bring it in, it performed very well. I still feel like it's the odd kind of member of this team. Give the team a try you might play it differently to how i play it and think it's a great member of the team and if you do definitely let me know what your thoughts are around the the pz personally i think we've seen some other top players with a similar build with the cinderace over the pz so maybe that is a better option there it gives you a different outlet different speed control um, and probably a, a little bit of a better matchup against things like Tyranitar that we saw tonight, how difficult that matchup can be. So um, have fun with the team. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, if you do try it out, do let me know in the comment section down below. It'd be great to hear your thoughts on the team. I think it's a really nice build in general, uh, but we'll end it there. I hope you guys take care. Have a great rest of your evening. Uh, if you do enjoy this sort of content, as always, do drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel for more of this sort of content, and I'll see you all for the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.